All right, so the next thing I want to cover is setting up entity filtering and product filtering in ASP.NET Storefront Multistore. Uh, what that allows you to do is to map certain entities, uh, or another word is categories or manufacturers, departments. So it allows you to map certain entities to one store and leave that entity out of another store. And that's, that's what I'm referring to when I say the word mapping. Uh, and the same is true for products. Um, the ability to map products to a particular store and leave them out of another store. So let's see how that's done. Uh, we're going to go to the back end of the website and underneath configuration store maintenance uh, you'll see the global configs tab and there's a few global configs and there's two that we're going to worry about and that is allow product filtering and allow entity filtering. So I'm going to go ahead and turn both of those on now. Okay. And now when I refresh the page, you'll see that all the entities uh, disappear from the site. And you'd also find that all the products were now unmapped from all of the stores, so both store one as well as store two. So let's go do some mapping. So basic betting needs to get mapped up. You can do that under the store mappings tab. So I'm going to put basic betting in store one and hit update. And I'll actually save and close that. And we'll put bikes in store one since that's where I put my feature products in the last video. So we'll go to store mapping and set up for store one, save and close. And I'll put cheese in store two. like so, and save and close that. So now, when I refresh store two, you'll see cheese appear under categories. And if we go there, it's empty, but it's there. And let's go back to store one. And you can see both basic bedding and bikes appearing on store one. So that's how you map up entities. It's pretty simple. And the same is true for manufacturers and departments. So now let's take a look at how to map products. Um, you can go find the product you're looking for, and this happens to be a bike, so let's map that up to store number one. You can do that again under the store mappings tab. We'll save that. Okay, and for the imported cheeses that we want to add to store two, I'll just search for those and click on store mapping again. And now when we refresh the site, Under bikes, we should find our bike. And on store two, the home page, under cheeses, we'll find the cheeses that we added. So that's about all there is to entity and product filtering in ASP.NET Storefront Multistore.